This video is sponsored by Moomoo, Australia's first AI-powered trading platform. If you've been following my channel, you know that I'm bullish on the rise of Asia. I've interviewed a number of entrepreneurs, CEOs, and business leaders across Asia to find out more about the opportunities in each country. So when I heard Moomoo Australia was launching the option to invest in Chinese shares via the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, in addition to US and Australian shares, I was keen to meet the people behind the scenes to find out more about the company. But before we get to that, if you don't know what Moomoo is, they're a Silicon Valley stock trading platform that recently expanded to Australia after successful launches in the US and Singapore. Regulated by ASIC, they offer users the ability to diversify into US and Hong Kong shares in addition to the local Australian share market. Most notably, Moomoo's parent company is Fusu Holdings, a digital brokerage and wealth management platform that listed on the Nasdaq Stock Exchange in 2019 and is backed by some of the most famous investors in the startup space. Before founding Futu, Li Li was employee number 18 at Chinese tech giant Tencent, where he helped develop its famous QQ messaging service, which now attracts more than half a billion users per month. His idea for creating Futu came when he started investing his money post Tencent's IPO in 2004. Growing extremely frustrated by the high fees and lack of reliable brokerage firms, he decided to start his own digital platform and launch Futu in 2011, taking the lessons he learned from Tencent to build a platform that is technology, customer, and community focused. Moomoo Moo now boasts more than 19 million users worldwide and provides users with professional grade tools, reports, and insights for free to make investing easier. I was invited to Moomoo's Sydney office on a Friday afternoon to have a quick chat with Toby Wong, the Chief Operating Officer of Moomoo Australia, to find out more about the company and his thoughts on the current state of Chinese equities and macroeconomic conditions. Um, my name is Toby Wong. I am the Chief Operating Officer of uh, Futu Moomoo Australia. I've been in the industry for almost 30 years. Our mission is to redefine investing experience and to build a digital financial platform uh, by transforming the investor experience. The platform actually provides a lot of the information and tools that which really help to kill the uh, information imbalance problem. If you have the access to the information before, uh, like the institutional player, they have to pay more than 2000 a month. Moomoo providing that on a fee basis, free. Given Australia is a relatively small market, the next question I had was why did Moomoo decide to expand to Australia? Well, first of all, it is part of our internationalization uh, strategy. In Australia, the traditional financial institution, they are still in domination of the retail investment business. We believe there's still room for improvement. In addition to that, according to the ASX investor study, Australia is expected to have over 10 million uh, individual investors. And most of them will be uh, young investors and they were very open mind to accept uh, new technology. And that is why we believe and we think Australia market will be uh, very promising to us. Next, I asked Toby about the significance of Moomoo's new functionality to be able to trade Hong Kong stocks. To my knowledge, Moomoo is one of the few platforms here in Australia that allows you to invest in listed tech giants like Tencent, JD.com, Meituan, and Xiaomi. Adding on to the Hong Kong market, not only the one we have already provided in the US, you know, you won't miss the big name like Meta, Apple, something like that. But if you look at the economy forecast, the next 50 years, you know, China is very likely they will be rising to the um, number one or second economy in the world in terms of the GDP. And therefore, for Australian investor, not missing the, uh, some good investment opportunity in other market and at the same time they can achieve risk diversification purposes. Moomoo is the platform actually provide easy and effective access to the performance of the other most liquid market in the world. But of course most of us are probably avoiding Chinese tech companies given recent headlines around the lockdowns and stock market crash. But Toby gives his reasons for why people should take a longer term view. The example of the concern you just uh, talked about, I think those are all temporary. I mean in the long run for me, uh, this is not my uh, company view, but my personal view. I believe uh, for the next 10, 20 years, who's going to be the leader, that will be someone who actually embrace innovation and the, uh, the totality of the industrial production chain. In terms of technology, yeah, I have to say U.S. is the leader, but running the second is China. Finally, given the never-ending interest rate hikes, inflation, and potential recession on the way, I get Toby's thoughts on what people can do to best position themselves in this economic climate. Invest your cash. If you have an uh, inflation of 7%, for $1 holding, it will worth only 
93 cents in the year time. Now, even you deposit the cash into a bank, receiving a 5% interest return, but you're still losing 2% as a whole because of the inflation. Find and invest your money into those business and, and, and company which have uh, pricing power so that they can do well during the time of inflation. And what that means is that they have the ability to put up the price and maintain the market share during the hard time. Think about insurance company and supermarket. People will still have to buy grocery or insuring your property during bad time when the pricing is up. And lastly, it is very important for investors you know, to stay away from those so-called customer discretionary stock. As you know, general public, they are tightening the bell in bad time. They are not willing to spend on those discretionary items. The travel stock and the uh, travel booking website is another classical example of consumer discretionary. They, they were probably performing very, very poor you know, during high inflation environment. As you know, the people would tighten the bell and put off the holiday um, to survive during the um, pressure of the inflation. So folks, if you're watching, I really encourage you to, you know, download Moomoo, use the function to find this stock out, then you can beat the inflation as maybe um, do well as those professional players. <laughs>